for the unvaccinated. You're looking at a winter of severe illness and death for yourselves, your families, and hospitals you may soon overwhelm. Hey everybody, welcome to Contra Thoughts. We've got some Joe Biden stuff. Oh, resident Biden coming up next. All right. Hey, everybody. So I wasn't really going to do a video today just because it's Christmas time and I'm busy and everybody's busy. And yeah, I don't know how many people are watching videos, doing other stuff, shopping, baking gingerbread cookies, trying not to die from a winter of severe illness. But uh, it is the second day of winter, and um, I just wanted to, uh, I mean, let's be real here. Like, Joe Biden is is painfully the least president, least popular president of all time, easily, um, at least in recent memory. And there's like 400 different reasons not to have voted for him, yet people did. I'm not going into all the how many and all that other stuff. It's not what I'm talking about. What I want to point out is his handling is just not only just ridiculous and just fear-mongering tyranny, but it's also stupid. Because he did this little note on the WhiteHouse.gov. We are intent on not letting Omicron disrupt work and school for the vaccinated. You've done the right thing, and we will get through this. For the unvaccinated, you're looking at a winter of severe illness and death for yourselves, your families, and hospitals you may soon overwhelm. First of all, I want you to know that Jesus doesn't call his disciples to obedience in this way, using fear-mongering. Yes, destruction is the result of unbelief, but that's not why we come to Christ. We come to Christ because he's better than our sin, because he's better. It's far better to be forgiven and have new life and be brought into the right relationship with our creator and not the other way around, not living for ourselves and going our own way, but like a sheep with a shepherd going under, under the protection of the great shepherd, the Lord Jesus Christ. But first of all, I mean, second, second, third, I don't know how many. I'm just, it's just so, it's so freaking insane that a guy who claims to be the president of the United States is talking this way. You've done this. I mean, how do, first of all, this is so divisive. I'm so fired up and it's so freaking stupid. I mean, this is wrong on every level. I don't care that he's a Democrat. If Trump or somebody else spoke this way, I would call this fool out too. But like, Joe Biden, are you freaking for real? You guys have done the right thing. Like a little five-year-old patting the kid on the head and saying, here's a cookie. But you, you didn't make your bed. You didn't do what I said. I'm going to lambast you. I'm going to... And just like threats. I mean, for the unvaccinated. I mean, talk about this divisiveness. Listen, I don't exist and you don't exist in relation to the FDA and what drugs we have pumped into our body or not. Okay, I don't have my relationship of existence and having some category regarding how much vitamins I've taken or minerals I've taken, whether I have a vasectomy or not, whether I have my uh, spleen or my appendix or my tonsils or anything else. For those of you who have had your tonsils removed, but those of you who haven't, those who have your wisdom teeth removed and those of you who haven't, Listen to this nonsense. It's stupid. It's divisive rhetoric that is pointless at best and evil and divisive that is seeking to crush people's spirits, seeking to divide between us and them and the savior elite, these high up elected people who have all the power, want us to fight. I'm not going to fight you. If you want to get triple, quadruple, sextuplet vaxxed, I don't care. If I don't want to do it, you shouldn't care. And really, if these people, like, again, this is like blaming people who get in car accidents. Like, well, I wore my seatbelt, but you didn't wear your seatbelt. Now I died in my car accident. No, that's not how seatbelts work. That's not how helmets work. That's not how life vests works. That's not how vaccinations work. If you're vaxxed, 
What's the big deal? You're done, right? You're good. I'm going to see if YouTube is going to pick up on this and put that little Wikipedia thing. I'm curious. I've not had that happen to any of my videos. If you've got it, you're protected. At least that's what it should be. But we see people, especially in the government, who are triple got it and yet still get it. <laughs> so what's the point in getting it? You want a freedom of choice? Fine. But the government is threatening. You're looking at a winter of severe illness and death. I mean, is that a threat? Are you promising that, Joe Biden? Because that's evil and tyrannical, and you should shut your old mouth trap and be quiet. Because we're not going to stand for this. And even if you're fully like in support of it, you shouldn't stand for this. Because this type of crap is the stuff that the did before Hitler rose, do and did in China during Mao's time, do and did in Russia during Stalin's time, and so on. Now, are we going to have the same result as them? Oh, I pray to the Lord we don't. But until people stand up and say, this is unacceptable, your rhetoric is wrong, it's evil, it is not God-honoring at all, it's not at all in line with the Bill of Rights or the Constitution whatsoever, it has nothing to do with being the president. You want to talk about having mean tweets from the orange man bad, fine. But this is, this is threatening. You're going to, you're going to die. You and your families and yourself and your hospitals are going to overwhelm. Give me a break. Show me one evidence of that. It's all rhetoric. It's all fear mongering. And when you're fearful, when you're fearful, you make stupid choices. You make dumb decisions. Let me look at something. You don't think straight at all. And it's a problem right? And they want us, whoever they are and whoever the us is, doesn't matter whoever they are. Ultimately, we know who we are, right? There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. First John 4 tells us. Luke 12 is really applicable. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who is able, after he is killed, has the authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Fear the one who is able to destroy both body and soul into hell in destruction, misery. Don't fear him who's able to kill your body. What's the big deal about that, Jesus says? I know, I, I get it. <laughs> I don't want to be killed for the faith, and you probably don't either, ultimately, right? Because we're so squishy and soft, and everything's comfortable and nice and warm, and our bellies are full. We're not thirsty. We're not hungry. But we should fear the Lord God, and that's America's problem. Not fear death. Not fear Joe Biden, Kamala, 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 Cam girl, whatever, whoever's really in charge, doesn't matter. We should fear him who is able to destroy both body and soul in hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. This is Contra Mundo Pro Mundo. This is the channel. Contra Thoughts is being against, um, well, this is my show. The Contra Mundo part is being against the world before the world and trying to be in this world because we are at war and too many Christians don't see this too many Christians don't understand this or we forget it so my goal is to push back against the world because like uh, me you were once in the world at one point you did not believe in Christ you did not repent and believe if you're a Christian if you're not a Christian well I urge you strongly to pray to repent to turn to Christ because he'll take you Regardless of your sin, regardless of how much junk you've done and how much murderous thoughts and adulteries and fornications and thefts and idolatries you've had in your life, he will wash you if you come to him. You fall on your face and you bow and say, you are Lord and I am not. Have me, please. Please take me. He will. Go ahead and like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 200 subs before 2022. Uh, it'd be great to have 222 by 2022, but uh, I've only got 20 more to go. So if you haven't subscribed, please help me reach my goal. Go ahead and mash that little subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. And um, and uh, share this video as well. And we'll see you probably tomorrow because I'm going to do a video as well tomorrow. So take care.